seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Ashley, if you would please, just about the podium. <coughs> wait on your lead. Here's the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Mayor, Castle and Gas, I 
simple thank you just not express the honor I feel you have given me. I love the responsibility as an advocate for that syndrome and special needs. I also have enjoyed being an advocate of the city of Hoover in my travels across the country. I hope and look forward to being more involved in a great in our great city in the future. Again, thank you for this great honor. citizens of the city of Hoover attend currently or have attended in the past the University of Alabama Birmingham and whereas the elected officials of the city of Hoover believe in the values and community which athletics provides to the college environment and experience. Now therefore I, Gary Ivey, Mayor of the city of Hoover, do hereby along with the Hoover City Council and many citizens of Hoover urge the University of Alabama System Board of Trustees and the University of Alabama Birmingham President to ensure the uninterrupted continuation of the University of Alabama at Birmingham football program and pledge to the University of Alabama at Birmingham football program, including its coaches, staff, and players, to do all in its power to support the uninterrupted continuation of the University of Alabama Birmingham football program. And witness whereof, I appear to set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Hoover to be affixed this the 15th day of December 2014 and it's signed by Mayor Ivey as well as Council President Jack Rock. Thank you. <laughs> 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 okay. One, two, three. taken uh, in the legislature working with the uh, uh, with the uh, board of trustees and the leadership at UAB to bring some changes. Uh, I know this is significant in the city of Hoover. Uh, in this past year, two, uh, two key contributors to the uh, football program at UAB, uh, Josh McGee and Margaritas Humphrey, are Hoover graduates, uh, and I wish I'd thought to compile their stats from the year uh, before I came tonight, but they were uh, very much involved in the offense and uh, a record-setting offense at UAB. Uh, previously, uh, Chase Daniels was a safety who played at UAB and had an outstanding career. And uh, I know from my time in dealing with the folks at UAB, several coaches have called Hoover home. And uh, with, the, with the outstanding football that's played in this city by the two high schools in this city, it was a, a, there were increased opportunities for Hoover athletes to have a chance to go there. Thank you for what you've done today. Uh, this is bigger than football, though. It is, as the proclamation said, it's about the economic viability of our community. And uh, I appreciate your leadership and your willingness to step forward and make a statement. And uh, hopefully all of us working together, our voices will be heard. Thank you. First, I was going to see if Madam Secretary, did you get that last gentleman's name? Mr. <laughs> uh, President, I would uh, move for the appointment of uh, Fire Chief uh, John Charles Wingate, uh, his appointment to the Medical Clinic Board. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations, Chief. Uh, 
and a license order sheet with Test Day Corporation. Mr. President, I move for approval resolution 52-13-14. Second. A motion to second. Any discussion from the council? Any from the audience? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion A. Resolution passes. Mr. Walter, 52-14-14. This resolution authorizes the mayor to accept a statutory warranty loan to be on behalf of the city from McGill Crossings Acquisitions, LLC, for lot two of the code at McGill Crossings. Mr. President, I would move for approval resolution 5214-14. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion from the council? Mr. President, uh, Mr. Pate, um, this is about eight acres, right? Sure. Uh, is any of this property usable as far as a, uh, a playground, we don't really have anything on that in the city. Uh, yes, sir, it could. And we'll be looking at that for a future budget, <coughs> maybe in the spring. Thank you. Additional comments from the council? Comments from the audience? Mary, not all in favor say aye. 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 Motion A. Resolution approved. Uh, we <coughs> to approve the ABC applications for uh, AH. Chicago Tenant LLC doing business high place burning in Inverness. Mr. President, I move for approval of the application. Second. Motion to second. Discussion for council. Any from the audience? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Resolution passes. Motion to approve another ABC application. Rontap Sports Cafe, 3340 Gallery of Circle. Mr. President, I move for approval of the application. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion for council? The audience. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Resolution passes. Uh, we're going to have another second reading tonight. The ordinance 142266, Mr. Walker. Yes, sir. This ordinance uh, will adopt by reference uh, 2015 International Code, uh, 2014 National Electric Code, and Alabama Energy and Residential Code with proposed modifications. The effective date of this ordinance is January 1 of 2015. Mr. President, I would move for the adoption of ordinance number 14 2266. Second. Mr. President, I know we had a uh, work session. Mr. Dwight Sandlin and Mr. Rusty Fowler. Mr. Fowler was just um, sworn in, in fact, as the new president of the Home Builders Association. That was with me and him Friday evening. And thanking them for their support of this change in ordinance, but they told me not to thank them, to thank the folks at Walter, Stuart Kendrick, for their great work. In fact, they went on and on about April Daniels and the financial and countless hours she put in, so I'd just like to publicly thank April for the work she did. Just comments and counsel. Mr. President, I would like to second that. Um, uh, they, uh, along with Mr. Don Riley and his staff, uh, they allowed me to work with them and going over these uh, these codes um, and, and spend a lot of time with me and answer a lot of questions. And it's unbelievable how much uh, Ms. Danielson knows without having to look anything up. She's just an encyclopedia for those that remember those. Just your comments from the council. <laughs> comments from the audience. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Green? Uh, Mr. Lida? Aye. Admiral Natter? Aye. Mr. Skelton? Aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. Mr. Wright? Aye. Ordinance passes. Have a public hearing now to consider the Nimrod Long Association representing U.S. Steel conditional use approval for a park located at 420 Renaissance Drive. Over the property of the United States Steel Corporation, property zone PR1, Clan Single Family District. Mr. President, I'll move for approval of the conditional use. Second. A motion for second. Discussion for the council. The audience. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Position use approved. Public hearings here. That's been moved to January. Uh, we're set public hearings for Monday, January 5th. We can say the following Mr. Jonathan Belcher, NSH Corporation, for the business signature homes request for rezone 17 acres adjacent to Perkin Preserve, A1 Agricultural, PRD Plant Residential, for 35 medium density homes. This property is located at 2005 Kirkland Drive, is owned by NSH. The first reading then. First reading of 
ordinance number 142267. Okay. This, uh, I'm down here on first reading. 15, I'm sorry. 1522. I stand, I stand corrected. We're going to read that in January. Right? No, we're not. We're going to read tonight. Okay. Oh, we got a 15. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry. This ordinance amends the zoning code of the city of Hoover to state that property described on exhibit A attached to the <coughs> Zone PRD Plan Residential Development District, and that all uses and restrictions applicable to PRD uh, would be controlled. Uh, such would, would control that property. This is the first. Thing. Thank you. Chairman Bill, Mr. Smith. Mr. President, I reviewed the bills and recommend they be paid in full as presented. Second. Motion second. Discussion from the council. Any of the audience? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Vote nay. Be clear the bill, Mr. Davis. Mm -hmm. Now, any questions for the council? Mr. President, I would like to uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see y'all shortly after an Alabama football game. Congratulations to the Bucks being state champions. Yes, sir. Official comments, questions to council, in the audience. Hearing none, Merry Christmas. <laughs>